that got me into the whole field of biomechanics and uh, human physiology and injury prevention. It's really uh, my own story that caused me to be so passionate about this field. So since that point on, I've devoted my time and energies to try to train athletes, tennis as well as other sports, uh, to try to avoid injuries moving forward while also improving their performance and trying to make them be competitive at the highest levels, whether that's a recreational player, uh, a high-level junior, a collegiate player, or uh, at the highest professional level. It's really started first year in college. I started getting some dull pain in the shoulder, and you know it was treated as a normal tendonitis issue. Just you know, play through it, rest a little, uh, work within the pain threshold, and it really didn't get better. I did a lot of different things with it. I did uh, you know traditional rehab for a number of months. Uh, I did some different treatments. I used some different tape jobs that were on my shoulder. Uh, and it was just never really got a lot better and kept playing through it uh, and it got to the point where it, it just couldn't serve anymore. My serve coming into college was around 120, 125 miles an hour and by my senior year it was down below 100. I had uh, shoulder surgery and it was on the front and the back of the shoulder. There were some nerve issues as well as some label damage and from that point on, I've had recurring pain in the shoulder. Uh, the surgery went well. They fixed the major issues, but there were still problems related to it because I played through it for so long. Uh, so that's been the, the biggest struggle with the shoulder. After about 45 minutes to an hour of heavy practicing with high-level players, the shoulder would always get very heavy. Elbow would start to hurt. I'd have these, these just recurring pain issues. Uh, so that was the biggest problem. I started playing uh, with the Dono Rackets near, nearly nine months ago or so and I've gone through a, different, a few different variations of the Rackets. The, the current generation, the second generation of Rackets, do feel a lot better and they really have made a big difference. In uh, I can play longer, I can be out on the court longer. The pain isn't there. Uh, it's definitely made a difference. Uh, I was playing with, you know, a, a hollow racket. I prefer not to mention it, um, but it was, you know, one of the big brands that's out there that most people are familiar with. And, you know, it was always getting a little pain in, in, in the arm, and it was something, a racket that I'd used for a number of years. And it was, you could definitely see the difference, though, going to the Dono racket. They've had great results, and it feels great. Uh, the power's there, and uh, the beauty about it is I'm able to be out on court for a longer period of time without that throbbing pain the next day, which is a real benefit. It makes some sense on paper that the, the ability to handle the impact is re reduced because of this, and it allows less of the arm to feel the impact. So it, it does make some sense, and I mean, for anecdotally, it's feeling great. Uh, I think I'm hearing that from other people as well. So it's definitely a positive step. I think that's the beauty of the, these rackets. Are you make solid contact, you don't lose the power, and you don't have that transition of impulse that goes through the arm as much. I mean, it definitely feels better. And the beauty about anything that feels better is if it works for an individual, it works. And that's the thing with, with this racket. It's definitely made a difference. It's, it's felt a lot better and enjoying playing and hit, hitting the ball and playing with these high-level players that I need to still hit with to help them improve and coach them to get to the next level.